All I have to do now is measure it out and uh, cut it, stick it into place. Alright guys, once more, I am sweating bullets and I am ready to get out of here. The wall is done. This thing <laughs> was so challenging to cut to fit all those little things there. Up here, there's another piece over there. I just put the seams together with some duct tape there. And there's going to be uh, wallpaper over that anyways to finish it up. I'm gonna wallpaper the whole place in here. But that was definitely a challenge and I am so happy that it is done. I never wanna fix a camper wall again. <laughs> that sucked so bad. That was just a lot of work, man. And I'm sorry I didn't film more of the actual process, but it was just such a huge job that every time I, I went to try to set up the camera, it was like I was in the way, you know, it just didn't work. So anyways, that's that. I am uh, about halfway ready for these seats to come back. And I did all this in three days, so still need to finish that up before I actually put the seats back in. I'm ready to go home and get a shower. The girls are coming tomorrow. And then we'll pick this up in uh, in a couple more days here. All right, we are back again. I think this is day four, maybe day five. I don't remember. I think it's day four. Um, I'm going to open everything up here in just a minute, but I went out to Lowe's and I picked out some wallpaper. The color of this is called Spice. And I looked at a bunch of different kinds first and um, that turned out to be the best one. So that is what we're going to go with here. I only bought one roll first because I want to make sure that it sticks good because I've heard that some of these really don't stick very well. We really don't have a lot to do over here, but this is where I'm going to start. Cover this stuff up. I need to move all of this, get it out of the way. Okay, there you can see better. Just the wall that we fixed. I need to take that off again. We're gonna start over here and do all this first. And then on the other side of the cab here, we just have this one strip going up. So we're gonna have plenty to do that too as well right now. Might be kind of challenging to get that strip on the top done with this out. I don't know, well, we'll deal with that later. The only thing it looks like it might clash with would be this fabric up here. But honestly, I think I'm going to change that too. I'm like changing everything. But that would also include the window treatments. I might take these off completely and just put a different kind of blinds there that you can actually open up all the way. I mean, this thing is just going to be 100% different by the time I get done with it. So I'm having fun. Okay, guys. <laughs> I know this video is so choppy here, but I've got the first couple of strips up there. A little bit on the top here, down the side, and down to the bottom. I need to put the rest over here yet, and we'll be done with that. Now, I don't have to be perfect on these curves here and everything, because this frame here sits right inside this little lip, and it will cover that up. And the same up here. I didn't worry about being too exact and perfect up there, because this thing here is going to go over that and cover that completely. Okay, that turned out pretty good. Let me show you here. There we go. From the bottom all the way up to the top. I got that part put back in there. Man, this has been a job. I'll tell you what. I put that back up and I had to take it right back down. There's four screws in there and then another three in the bottom. And then there's like 36 screws around the perimeter of the window there. Um, but I got it done here. So remember, there's this thing that goes right here. 
that like holds a cup and magazines and all kinds of stuff like that and the little wire right there that actually goes to like a cigarette lighter you know a place where you can plug in your uh, your phone or whatever so that did turn out pretty decent and you can see the difference in the color of the uh, the paper here yeah you can see the difference where the one on the left there it, it has kind of a little red to it it's called spice and uh, and this was the original uh, wall here you know that's what it looked like it's not wallpaper it's just like paneling but uh, we'll have that same thing up everywhere in here where there's walls except for over here gonna do the tile backsplash over there and uh, oh my gosh this is gonna be a big job <laughs> but uh, but yeah it'll have to go up all around here I still need to get this part right over here which I just may do before I leave today and it's funny because there's always something more to do. Like this part right here needs the molding on. That's laying over there. And then I took this speaker out here because it's like it's smashed. Yeah, you can see how that's smashed. I could just simply fix that and clean that up. But they sound horrible anyway. So I'm going to get new speakers. I should be able to replace those with kickers for like 70 bucks for both of them. So I've been working on this area here a little bit, just cleaning it up. Took a speaker out. You can see how clean this came. And the reason that is so clean is because I used a uh, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser on it. I did wipe down this with Spick and Span, just with this stuff right here, Wild Lavender. And that came pretty clean. However, look at this. There's dog hair <laughs> all over in here, so I'm going to have to clean all of that out. This, I'm going to have to use Goo Gone on, and I'll get that up. Uh, this here had these big, thick strips of glue. It was nasty and sticky. That came up with Goo Gone. And, uh, and then I'll take a magic eraser to this whole area so the whole thing comes out looking nice and clean like that. If i got to get a toothbrush out and go over every crack and crevice of this thing, it's going to be clean enough to eat off of by the time I'm on the road. <laughs> No, I wouldn't eat off of it, but still. <laughs> Those chairs, it's been a week. I dropped them off last Monday, and tomorrow's Monday. So uh, they ought to be done pretty soon here. I don't want to get the rest of this stuff done here. Carpet in there. I want to get the wallpaper up on that side. Maybe even get that TV out of there and replace it with a, uh, a flat screen. Holy crap, guys, we are back again. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so... I was just making a list of everything that I need to do to finish the whole front end here before we can put the seats in. And here is that list. It's enormous. But let me show you a couple of things I have to work with here. I picked up some Clorox bleach to, uh, to wipe everything down up there. And then I got two boxes. There's six total Mr. Clean Magic Erasers here because those worked so well on the end there. So I'm going to use that all across there, get that all clean. This thing here just came in the mail the other day. I may have mentioned that I ordered it. It is called uh, Kill Mat. It's really heavy. And what it is is like, well, it's Car Sound Deadening Mat. 80 mil, and there's 36 square feet. So there is plenty to be installed underneath this. This is uh, fiberglass under there. And when I pull that up later, I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. But that's just nothing but fiberglass under there. You take that kill mat and you peel one side of it. It sticks in. And uh, and you just basically coat the whole underside of that with this kill mat. And then that will really deaden the sound coming from the engine that is right under there. So whenever I'm driving, I will be able to hear what's going on in the coach. And, uh, you know, the, the music or whatever I'm listening to um, instead of the sound of that engine. And then the last thing here, this is a kit um, from Seal Design. It's a window seal kit. This is everything that it contains. And that will be used to pop out this entire window here. So I'm going to have to take all that stuff off again, pop that whole window out, and uh, reseal the whole thing, clean it up, put it back in. And that will be good as new, and there will be no leak around that at all if that's where it's been uh, coming from. So I think what I'm going to start with today is cleaning this up real quick. Um, take out that other speaker there. I will also replace those tonight. But I'll get all that stuff cleaned up and wiped down so that is done. 
Then I'll give that a final sweep under there, figure out how to get the carpet off the rest of those little areas there. Go get the carpet, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to shut up and get to it. I've been busting my butt up here. You can see I took the drawer out. I took all of these things out from up here. And I even took the little vents out. I cleaned and scrubbed those and put them back. And look at this. Look at the line between the clean and the dirty side. Oh my god. <laughs> that is from scrubbing the heck out of that. That is really, really coming clean. I'm so happy with that. <laughs> Guys, I am so whooped. <laughs> I've got this uh, front end almost completed here. Oh my gosh, this has been such a huge job. Everything that I think is going to be simple is just such an enormous job. And look at this. As I lay down on the ground here to get a minute of peace, I'm looking up at the ceiling at all of these little things here and thinking, oh my gosh, I've got to take those down and scrub those. Look. The people who had this before were probably smokers, although I don't smell any smoke in here at all. This needs to be cleaned up. Everything. Look at all those down there. Holy crap. I'm back up. I got a little bit more work done. My brother came over. I was talking to him as I, as I worked on some of this stuff. I got the carpet ripped off of this thing here, although the mesh is still on there, so that's going to be a trick, because that is glued straight on there. Crazy. I got this side prepared to put another strip of the wallpaper up. All of this is clean up here, and all these things put back together. As you can see, it's all the same color now. <laughs> So all of this stuff has been scrubbed down. I do still need to do the door there, but that's all right. I'm moving on to other things here. So I don't have much battery left and I don't want to turn on the generator. So I'm just going to close up shop with the camera for now, get as much more stuff done as I can. And uh, I'll give you an update then and we'll go from there. All right, guys, final update of the day. I'm putting the carpet from the uh, that engine hump thing back there in the dark <laughs> I've got everything cleaned up and ready to roll there's the hump there's the two other things I didn't get to but that goes to the window that goes to the hump right there <laughs> I took that bar thing off of here earlier you can see I got those couple strips of uh, wallpaper done right there got this back up this back up that back up i washed the door uh pulled up all the extra little bits of carpet that was stuck all over in there and i have cleaned up after myself and swept up the floor and everything back around and we'll call it a night i am so tired i am ready to go home and chill for a little bit i got all my measurements for the carpet that i need for there and for the bedroom and all I had to do is go get the carpet and put it in. I still have this carpet on here, but I think I'm going to have to figure out how to put the new carpet over that for that spot right there. And this little block back there, I think it's just going to stay just as it is. You can't see it anyway, and it's like totally glued on whatever that block is back there. And hopefully the chairs will be ready tomorrow. I'd love to have the carpet in, the chairs in tomorrow and the whole cockpit done and ready to roll. Mm -hmm.